Welcome back. Took a little bit of a short break here. Um, wanted to take a moment to kind of get some real life stuff done. But I'm also really excited about this playthrough. Uh, I think this is a really cool game and it just, I don't know, it, it, uh, it tickles my fancy a little bit, right? It reminds me of games that I grew up with and played and the gameplay is, is simplistic, but it's fun. And that's what a lot of games miss nowadays, right? They miss this kind of fun component that's really hard to capture. And besides, you know, really, how many games let me be a big giant taco with a shield and a giant sword, right? Oh, wow, I didn't even notice my eyes glow red, right? That's pretty cool. And see, that's what I'm talking about. This, this level of kind of crazy creativity that it enables. Like, I can make my own custom character in this game. Very cool. All right, you know, yeah, yeah, you've got a character creator in a lot of popular games, a lot of games that I'm going to be playing, but not quite at this level, right? This is almost on the level of, like, drawn to life or something. Um... And it's not quite the creativity of Scribblenauts, maybe, but it's very cool. So, I can't remember what we were doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I died. I did die. I died with half a heart, and I just kind of showed back up out here. The good news, the good news is I have all the items. So I can kind of go ahead and I continue on. And I'm trying to remember, but I think that I'm supposed to go to the east. Oh, no way. All right. I'm supposed to go really far to the east. Oh, 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 oh. Do you know what I remember? I remember that there's some stuff up there. So let's get some items. Uh, we wanted to get some of those arrows so we could go in that room where they actually wanted us to have arrows. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, man. You know, if I'd only been able to make it there, right? I would have been able to heal. Should have been right outside of Dungeon 2. Um, but I digress, right? the game is what it is and the game is brilliant right it's not its fault that I'm a bad player so it's all good can't figure out if I actually like having a giant sword or if I just like having the um you know having like that projectile piece that happens in, uh, in the Legend of Zelda kind of think that the big sword looks a little ridiculous but at the same time it just it makes the game fun I feel like whoever kind of introduced the idea you know, in a meeting or whatever, right? Like, oh man, you know, yeah. Yeah, we should make it all pixelated. And you know what, we have, we should have a giant sword. And they're just like, uh, what? Yeah, giant sword, you know. Um, should be about, I don't know, 20 times the length of our character. And it should be really powerful. And well, how do you balance that out? Well, the moment you get hit, it's no longer a giant sword. Oh shoot, you know, I did not mean to do this. I'm only as powerful as I've always been. I don't think... I can't remember if this is the right way to go or not. I mean, these guys aren't hard. I just want to make sure that I'm actually making some progress. And this feels kind of like anti-progress. Oh, yeah. This is totally anti-progress, right? Like, I don't need to be here. What am I doing? I know what I'm doing. I'm trying to find my way back in this place. And so I remember now where I'm supposed to go. So we're going to do the thing. We're going to find the right way to be. Or the right... Th the right place to be. The right way to be? I don't know about that. I actually feel like I'm progressing really far in this game. Um, I don't really feel like I put the time in like that either, so it confuses me. Is this a short game? I don't know. Uh, I kind of hope not. Um, otherwise, this is going to be a really kind of short series, but at the same time, cool, right? What if that happens and this becomes like the first series that I finish? That would be really nice. It would be a very cool thing. I just don't... Uh, I don't want the adventures of uh, Taco Man and... The idea. Yeah, the idea that makes me a little sad, right? <sighs> I haven't really checked out this village or anything. Now, wait, wait a second. I need to understand something. Okay, so yeah, the Lost Forest is all the way to the left. What's in here? Also, is that something shiny on the ground, or is that just... That's just the way the, the, uh, the pixels scroll. That's why, that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way the pixels scroll. What's in here? Mysterious well. If you throw money in, good things may come. 20 G per try. Yeah. Let's throw some money down the hole, right? Nothing's gonna happen, right? Got a sleeping bag. Hey, that's cool. All right. Got a magical bag. I don't even know what a magical bag does. Let's see here. Got a sunstone. Very cool. Maybe we can uh, pick that up in the future and have it charged. 
Got 10 bombs. Oh, this is great. No, this is better than buying items. This is like luck of the draw here. It's like gambling, except I'm actually winning. Got a green apple. Yeah, that's all right. I feel like now I can totally understand why people gamble. Got a life shard. That's cool. That's like one of those uh, apple pieces, right? That's totally worth it. Got a green apple, okay. Have I exhausted all the cool stuff? Wish there was a way to like donate more to get like maybe more stuff. Got a candle, I could use a candle. There's nothing in here except for the apples that I actually can't use. See, I got a bomb. I do want some arrows. Can it give me some arrows? That'd be really nice. Got three bombs. All right, so that's cool. That worked out well. I am very satisfied with the progress on that. This makes me a very happy person. Okay. Cut the grass. Should totally get paid for cutting the grass, right? Oh, cool, boomerangs cut grass. I love the way the uh, the blocks just they keep rolling around. They just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. And you know what, no, I'm not gonna make that joke because honestly, I hate that song <laughs> a lot. And probably enough of the viewers here, I don't know, they're, they're probably young enough to where like, they either might get it or they might not. And either way, even if you do get it, like why, right? Why, why would I make that joke? It's not even that, uh, well, you know, let's not talk badly about other things, right? They're a great band in their own right. In the meantime, I wish I could remember what the, the little hopper things are called. Um, they're not gomas, I don't think, but they're, they're called something in, in The Legend of Zelda. And I mean, in this, I don't know what they're actually called, but I know what I'm trying to draw them as a parallel to. Just like the, um, you know, the guys who throw the spears here, they remind me of moblins, or moblins, or whatever you call them. Yeah, you know, I wonder if we missed anything in the first dungeon. You know, there was all... You know, let's, let's take a pop in, right? We can totally check it out. Too bad this isn't a game you just, like, level up and get experience for. Because th there's a lot of enemies that I'm going to end up killing. And I mean, like, I, as the human player, I get experience of, of killing them. Oh, I never even found the uh, map, did I? Oh, I did. You know, there's, uh, there's one room I never opened. All right, let's check it out. I'm being a little bit of an accidental completionist. I don't, I don't care that much. But at the same time, I really would like to know. Okay, so I've got to go to the right. Remember, kids, use your maps. Maps are totally worth it. God knows that I, I really like the uh, map in the uh, seaside town in near. It's about the only way I like to get around, honestly. All right. So wait, did I really never go in there? Oh, no. So it's about one more room away that I actually, ah, oh, I forget about this stuff. There we go. Okay, it needed a key. But wait, do I even have a key? What am I even doing? I'm pressing X on something. Oh, okay. Uh, shoot. Yeah, where does a key show up on my inventory? I'm actually not clear. No, I need a key. I wonder if I've missed something, like something subtle. I wonder if I can buy keys anywhere. All right, so at this point, I can't go in that room. It's not that big of a deal. I wonder if there's any breakable walls. Maybe, uh, you know, it, it, there, there are rooms that border it on each side. Let me not waste everyone's time here. Well, you know what we can do? Oh, oh yeah, okay, so that's not, that's not gonna work. So maybe, maybe there is a room that borders there. We can check that out. And I'll just go ahead and I'll, I'll get rid of these. Okay. And... I'm trying to remember... Uh, oh, you know what? I just totally did that wrong. <sighs> I did, I really did. All right, let's come back. I did this flawlessly a couple times. Now, why am I not thinking about how this works? There we go. There we go. And I do like the fact that that boomerang just kills those bats in one hit. Alright. 
I don't see a cracked wall at the top either. Now, unless there's a cracked wall on the left side, but I don't think there is. I really think I need a key, unfortunately. And a key is absolutely something I just don't have. I do, however, have a full set of apples. And, you know, apples to apples and dust to dust. So let's do this. Whoa! So that's the boss room, and yeah, we can't even see anything below that that area. So it's just, it's not a thing. I do have some arrows. That's cool. I did want to have arrows before I kind of went that way. And so we're going to check that area out. It's going to be great. Oh, blinding light. Like, why do they have to do that? I think I mentioned it before in Nier, but... Ever since, uh, ever since Gears of War came out on the Xbox 360, it was just bloom everywhere. And it looked really good in that game. Uh, in fact, actually, some of the screenshots I've seen of the uh, HD remake of, like, the Gears of War games confuse me, because some things look okay, and, and some things look great, but then it's really unbalanced. Um, then I'm, I'm sure that they're using some kind of a, a different method to calculate the, wa uh, the water. And, um, you know, probably the way that the, uh, the diffusion and, and all the fancy, all the fancy stuff that actually happens when you calculate things like water. I'm sure that's all very different. Alright. Okay. Go there. Alright, so was this the From Cave? I think this is actually the node. I think this is the area that I wanted to go to. Where the guy was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so I've got some arrows. Talk to me now. I can expand your quiver capacity for 200 Gs. Yes, please do. All right, you may now carry up to 30 arrows. Thanks for the business, can you do it again? Yeah, just keep, keep giving me the ability to have uh, 60 arrows, that's fine. Thanks for the business. Yeah, I'm just spending all the money here, but you know what? I can now carry up to 99 arrows. Thank you for the business. Does he do anything else after that? Can't go over 99. That's a magic number. Hey, you know what? That's fair. I don't want to... I don't want to cause you an unchecked obsection. Obsection? Exception. Obsection. Alright. Now, actually, let's go ahead and... Uh, what did we want to do? We don't need to go to the From Cave anymore. Was there another cave we wanted to go to? I feel like there was somewhere I saw with like a bomb area and now I'm drawing a blank. I'm gonna go that way and just see what happens. You know, it's funny. I mean, I could go and I could watch my video again, but I can only handle so much of me, right? The people around me, they can handle less. So I might check that out eventually. For now, it's, uh, you know, uh, Lon Z, right? Let's keep going. Ah! I do actually kind of think I want to change up my avatar now. I'm not sure what I want to pick next. Maybe the the, the tank would be fun to play as. I mean, really, it doesn't change the gameplay at all, and that's part of what makes it brilliant. It's just a simple kind of visual modification, but it, it really really brings the experience home. It kind of ah! it kind of lets you know that you know you can have fun with it, and that the game is just, just fun, right? It's not like fun straighting, because um, I've played games that I would absolutely call it like uh, an exercise in fun straighting. This is this is real fun. It was really good. I hope it's as entertaining to watch as it is to play. I kind of think it's not, so that's why I try. And I, I think I uh, gotta go the extra mile. Maybe I should just randomly scream out words or something so you're not ready for it or something. Of course, that's not what I'm going to do. I want people to subscribe. I don't want to drive people away. I mean, I could do both at the same time. You could subscribe and then just not watch. But I don't think that's really beneficial for me. Uh, okay. So, ah, stop. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. I am not... I just... I don't want any more stormy weather in my life. I've had enough. So, let's go. No, 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 no. Uh, 
you know, it, it would help a little bit, though, if my main character was just not nearsighted. I swear, everything has just got this, like, overly aggressive depth of field going on. Uh, and it's cool. It, it makes it kind of feel like a miniature, and I think that's what they were going for, uh, visually. Hey, I got a whole life shard. Wait. Do I consider it a whole life shard if it is a shard of the life? Maybe it is just like, it, visually it looks like a whole heart or a whole apple. You know, I, I get that confused. It's obvious what they meant. Oh, hey, do I get a change in music maybe? I'm going somewhere new. I do, I get a change in music. Watch everything be here, or everything that's here be overly powerful. And you know what? That looks like some kind of a hookshot equivalent way to move around, so. <coughs> I believe. I can't go there yet. Alright. Mm. Alright. So let me stop. Wait. Wait. I was already that way. Let me stop exploring. Exploring is fun. Wait. I just went in the wrong direction, didn't I? See? There's doing the thing, and then there's doing the wrong thing. Turned out that what I did was actually the latter. Oh. Remember, kids, don't stop and uh, grab something to drink while doing a Let's Play. You'll get shocked by lightning. Oh, I wish I could move faster. And what I wouldn't give for the boots um, that you get. I can't think of what they are. If they're the, the Icarus... Are they Icarus boots? Or whatever ones made you move really fast. You know, I'd, I'd just go ahead and I'd run around town. Um... I don't know, it was a Kakariko village or whatever it was, and and uh, Link's Awakening. I'd always be bumping into trees, and then you'd have all these like cool secrets that would just show up in a tree. Well, or you'd get the occasional bee's nest and get stung to death, but I mean, you know, those those are the risks, right? You had to risk something, and you actually had the chance of getting some really cool stuff. So, I got some really cool stuff, and sometimes I didn't take the risk. I guess it's knowing when to walk away. Alright. So I think. I think it was to the left. Ah! You know, you get out of my way. That's cool. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like in uh, Link's Awakening. You know, you start off on the beach, and you got the shield, and you don't have a sword. Actually, you don't even necessarily start off with a shield unless you talk to, uh,. Man, I don't know where I am going. I feel like I'm getting just ridiculously lost. <sighs> Whatever. Let's explore. Right? I am going to be Taco Man the Explorer. Vamanos conmigo. Let's go see what we can find. Hay muchas cosas que podemos encontrar. And I would really like to find something cool at this point. I say muchos. I'm gonna say muchos. Whatever. I, you know, I hardly speak Spanish. I totally forget how it actually works. All right. Ooh, what is this? Is he like a centaur? He takes two hits to kill. Oh yeah, he's totally a centaur with like bow and arrow. Ah. Oh, okay. I'm kind of digging this music a little bit. It's it's bringing out the bluegrass in me, and I don't even think I have bluegrass in me, so I don't know what that's all about. Hey, what is that? Is that maybe? Let's try it. Wait, what did that do? Why am I? I don't understand. So I'm like all, I'm reflective. Okay, so that's what the reflect, wait, wait, did I actually change models when I did that? No, I didn't. I just, visually it confused me. I went from being a taco man to a shiny taco man. Oh, hey, I got another Lego block. I don't know what these do, but the collector in me likes that. Okay. So you know what? As an episode, I think this is actually kind of becoming the unofficial, let's just wander around and see what's out there in the world episode. Because I don't know what's out there. 
I mean, there could be a big giant dragon around the corner, breeze fire on me, and I faint and I die. Uh, that could totally happen. I hope it doesn't happen. I enjoy my character being alive. Okay. Yeah, I've reached the end of the road, because that's another hookshot area. So they're, they're really using uh, what you can and can't do to kind of keep you sort of segmented out of different areas, and that's fine. That's actually really good design, because it gives you that sense of progression. Um, you know, one of my favorite gameplay styles, actually, is this what people call the uh, the Metroidvania style. Which, of course, you know, that's like... Um, it's not a portmanteau. It's, it's a combination, though, of um, Metroid and uh, Castlevania. Which, hey, come back here. I don't know what... No, no, come back here. You obviously are shy... Oh, okay. So I figured that enemy's shiny for a reason. Maybe he's got, like, a rare drop. And, you know, with all the money I spent to upgrade my arrow carrying capacity, I could totally use a rare drop. In fact, I almost feel a little cheap that I went ahead and did that, but, you know, the game's, the game's been generous about the money it's been giving me. Um, the only thing it's not been generous about has been the supply of arrows. That's okay, though. All right, so I can use the reflect magic anytime I want to, and I bet you then that there's some kind of, like, a puzzle, um, if we can call it a puzzle, but I bet you that there's some kind of a puzzle-like component wherein... You stand in front of something and you reflect it off of you and like that's how you open it. Hey, what is up? Oh, Check. Hey, this is Fina's Inn and I see some little block people. Oh, it's a dog. What's he say? He says whimper. I hope he's okay. All right. Me understand animals. Her dog is hungry, sad. Me give him dog food. Me nice person. Huh. Well, do I have anything yummy I can give him? Sunstone, sleeping bag, magical bag. Nope, nothing yummy. Maybe the end does. That'd be an interesting theory to test. To, to, to what? To, to, to test. I'd like to test that theory. All right, let's talk to them. This blustery terrain offers very little in terms of visibility. It does. Let's see here. I am a geologist, Desu. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Wait. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. I actually shouldn't have even read that as Desu, but I just wasn't expecting that. Um, I am a geologist, Des. That's a little redundant, right? Because, what a, yeah, okay, so obviously that's a reference to the, the Japanese. You know, like, Watashi wa geologist, Des, right? Um, okay, cool. But he's basically saying, I am twice, right? Because, in you know, in English, our, our verb comes before the subject and. Uh, in Japanese, it basically comes at the end, um, with, I guess, some minor exceptions, but anyway. Uh, I researched many kinds of stones, Des. Nice. I'd let you play block defense, but I need more time to clear it. Come back soon, okay? Yeah, I don't think they're ever going to let me play that game. I'm sorry, but the Wind Sage is just on a journey. He is seeking the power to seal the dark. Okay, that's fine. I'm not here to see him. Oh, you know what? Actually, so that, that one person that keeps uh, talking about the game they're playing. It reminds me of the kid in uh, Super Mario RPG who's always kind of playing the Game Boy um, with that weird kind of turtle shell shooter. It was actually really fun. It was like a beetle shooter or something like that. Anyway, I had a blast with that game. It was, it was ridiculously cool, and you can beat a high score, and I think you can get some cool items. And... I'll be honest with you, Super Mario RPG would be an amazing game to play through. I actually played through it again, I think, two summers ago and had a blast. Um, now, there's a lot of really cool secrets in that game and a, a lot of, like, really fun kind of meta humor that I really enjoyed. All right, so. Welcome to my store. Take your time. A single arrow better make it count. You know what? No. I'm going to buy 30 arrows at a time. Yep, for 120 Gs. I am gonna continue to buy arrows because I would love some arrows. All right. Yeah, so do you wanna continue shopping? Show me what else you've got. Bomb, 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 red potion, blue potion, elixir, candle. I, ooh, what's this lamp? Yeah, I'll buy the lamp. I bet you that'll uh, let me light an area without having to consume a candle. Oh, no, I'm a liar. What does a sunstone do? Lamps. Yeah, lamp value pack. Light and more light. Miss being outside? Just use this. Those sunstones, then. Okay. Okay. Ooh. 
restores everything and won't disappear. That, that tent, that sounds amazing. All right, so what do I need to do? I need to save up, uh, geez. I need to save up 2,000 Gs, but that really looks like it's worth it. I know that I'd really benefit from having that a lot. All right, so we're good, we're done shopping. We're a little broke, but it's okay. We'll go ahead, we'll earn some more money, and I guess that is they say is that. So, I'm gonna check the map. And we're gonna see where we're gonna end up. And I think for the next episode, I am gonna go ahead and change the character model, because, you know, I do, I wanna be something other than Taco Man. It's fun, but let's try something else that's also fun. Okay, wow, these are like blue Minotaur people. Man, these guys are tough, too. I almost feel like I'm, I shouldn't be out here yet or something. I don't want to say that it, like, you know, it's like wrong way. Oh. Well, actually, that seems to be an indication that I am, in fact, going the wrong way. Because that is another area that is definitely impassable without a hookshot. Well, the game is creatively letting me know, hey, jerk, go this... Go to where you're supposed to go, right? We put the game story on rails for you for a reason. So you don't have to wander around aimlessly. But I want to aim around. Or no, I want to wander around, not aim around. That doesn't even make sense. Oh, uh, let's see here. It has actually come to my attention that I have, uh, wasted, I mean, taken 26 minutes and 41 seconds of your life. I am so sorry. So, even though you won't get that back, I hope that you've enjoyed it. And what I want to do is I kind of want to just get somewhere where I can kind of sit outside a gate or, you know, a kind of a logical place to stop. In fact, you know what? I think I'm just going to get to where I started and we'll basically pretend that, uh, you know, that, that, that this, this episode didn't happen, right? It totally happened. A lot of fun. Saw a lot of cool things and uh, learned a little bit about my environment. But you can realistically then skip, skip this episode, if I get back exactly where I was, and kind of jump to the next one, where I'll actually be doing things instead of just wandering around. Let's see. Come on, come on. You can't catch me, I'm the Taco Man. Wait, I'm still going the wrong way. Oh my gosh, I'm getting lost. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. So this is what happens when you, uh, when you talk and you don't pay attention. All right, all right. Let me look at the map. Okay, so I need to keep going to the right. And yeah, yeah, okay, so this will put me next to the village. And yeah, we haven't actually looked at the village yet. I feel like I kind of want to save that for when I, I want to do specific things. Like, kind of not the story. But you know, actually, really, games like these, the village really matters. Oh, wow, is this a big rabbit party? Man, that was a hairy situation. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was bad. What's the name of this place? It's Rayjack Village. You know what? I read that, I think, in episode two. I just had forgotten. All right. Well, here's our stop. I've really enjoyed my time with you. And I hope you join me for the next episode. I'll probably leave a note on here that you can safely skip this episode. Didn't do anything important. Let's see, can we center him? That's probably about where I started, so... Maybe we can even kind of make it look about, like, uh, what it looked like when I started. I don't think I had it paused or anything. Could have. Maybe did. Alright. I hope to see you in the next episode.